What if you could build the next GTA game, not with a team of a thousand developers and a billion dollar budget, but with a single prompt? That's the future we're stepping into. A future where you can instantly generate a living, breathing, interactive open world from the bustling streets of a modern city to a hazardous planet, and then explore it in real time. This idea is now being brought to life by Google DeepMind with their latest breakthrough, Genie 3. This isn't just another AI that makes pretty pictures or videos. This is something fundamentally different. It represents a new frontier for world models and it's a leap forward in the quest for true artificial general intelligence or AGI. Alright, let's start with the basics. The core concept behind Genie is something called a world model. You can think of a world model as the ultimate AI brain that understands how a virtual environment works. It's an AI that has a deep, intuitive grasp of physics, object interactions and the cause and effect of actions within a simulated space. While previous models could do parts of this, Genie is the first to do it in a way that is truly open-ended and interactive. The official name for it is a generative interactive environment. And that's the key. It's not just generating a static video. It's generating a playable world. Technically, Gin is built on a massive decoder-only transformer model, the same architecture that powers many of today's large language models. But the crucial difference is what it was trained on. Instead of just text, Gini was trained on a dataset of over 200,000 hours of internet videos. This staggering amount of data taught the AI the basic laws of a pixelated 2D universe. Now what's incredible is how it uses this knowledge. You can give Gini a single image, maybe a picture of a character or a scene and it will instantly create a playable 2D game world based on it. The AI then takes simple text commands like move right or jump and generates the next frame in real time. This is a massive leap from simply generating video. It's generating an entire interactive simulation. Now let's talk more about the next evolution, Genie 3. This is where DeepMind positions its work as a critical enabler for artificial general intelligence. The ability for an AI to construct and operate within its own model of the world is a fundamental characteristic of true intelligence. Let's look at the comparison table they provided. At 720p, G3 is generating video at a much higher quality than the previous models. Its domain is general, meaning it can generate anything from hyperrealism to fantasy, not just one style. Control, this is the game changer. Genie 3 offers navigation, promptable world events. You're not just telling it what to show, you're telling it what to do. And also it can maintain a consistent world for multiple minutes in real time, making the experience feel responsive and immediate. This table shows that Genie 3 is not an update, but a reimagining of what a generative model can do, pushing it from a passive video tool to an active, interactive world building engine. Ok, let's look at modeling physical properties. In one demo, we see a small robot with chunky off-road tires that realistically crunch over volcanic rock, with molten lava flowing in the distance. In another, a jet ski creates realistic splashes and wakes as it cuts through water, with festive lights reflecting on the surface. But the most incredible example is the one showing a walk through a Florida hurricane. You see colossal waves rushing over the railing, heavy rains drinking down, and palm trees bending violently in the wild. These examples prove Gini 3 has learned an implicit physics engine from data, understanding fluid dynamics and atmospheric effects without being explicitly programmed with them. Next, simulating the natural world. Genie 3 creates everything from a serene glacial lake surrounded by snow-capped mountains to a deep sea trench filled with a vast school of bioluminescent jellyfish. But one of my favorite examples is the Japanese Zen garden. It's not just a generic garden, it has fine white sand raked into a swirling patterns and a traditional stone lantern. This shows it can understand and apply specific, complex aesthetic and cultural styles moving beyond photorealism to artistic guided generation. Then there's modeling animation and fiction, which showcases its creative power. We see a fluffy creature with rippling fur bounding across a rainbow bridge and a lizard animated in the distinct folded paper style of origami. But the most mind-blowing demo is the serene Irish landscape with sections of land rising into the sky and lakes spilling down in colossal waterfalls as gravity itself seems to bend. This isn't just generating a scene, it's generating a dynamic impossible and narrative event based on abstract commands. Finally, exploring locations and historical settings. Genie 3 acts as a virtual time machine and 
teleporter. We can explore the Palace of Knossos on Crete as it would have looked in its glorious heyday, walking through its grand architecture. Or we can take a terrifying first-person ride on a bike along the dangerous Kilar Kishtvar Road on a cliff edge in India. This potential for realistic training simulations and immersive historical education is profound. Now, all of this is only possible because of Genie 3's two secret weapons. The first is its incredible visual memory, which leads to environmental consistency. The demo of a drone flying at high speed through a cannon is simple but incredibly important. As the drone flies forward, rock formations that go off screen and then come back into view remain perfectly consistent. The world remembers. We also see this in the demo of an agent painting a house. The new paint color stays on the wall, demonstrating a persistent state change. And in a direct memory test, a detailed chalk drawing on a classroom blackboard remains unchanged after the camera looks away and comes back again. This consistency is the foundation for truly dynamic and believable virtual worlds. It's what shifts Gini from a generative AI to a truly simulative AI that has a sense of history. The second secret weapon is control. The promptable world events feature is a game changer. It means you can start a scene like a jet ski speeding through a festival and then add a new prompt during the interaction, such as the jet ski suddenly turns sharply to the right. The AI will generate the corresponding frames in real time. You're not just a prompt writer, you're a director, guiding the action as it unfolds and moving beyond just describing a scene into the realm of action active intentional control. Now let's break down the analysis of where Gini 3 truly shines right now. First, it's a truly general purpose model. It works exceptionally well for gaming environments, but as we saw, it also generalizes to industrial training and hyper-realistic scenarios. Second, and this is crucial, it learns physics. Although reports indicate there are still some systematic failures, it's clear it can learn game engine-like physics without needing an underlying engine program in. Third, its ability to create stylized environments with characters is going to have a massive impact on concept artists and level designers. And honestly, it just looks way more fun than standard video models, which means incredible new consumer experiences are just waiting to be built. Its visual memory is powerful, keeping objects coherent, and its understanding of lightning is surprisingly good. But it's important to be realistic. Gini 3 is not perfect. Physics is still hard, classic experiments like stacking blocks showed failure cases, multi-agent interactions like one-on-one -on -one combat game reportedly don't work yet, and it struggles with long complex instructions. It's far from being a real game engine, but it's a powerful glimpse into the future. The conviction from experts is strong. This is going to disrupt the gaming industry. It's super early days and there are still failures, but the writing is on the wall. Within the next five years, people will be combining this technology with 3D AI and large language models to build the next generation of AAA games. So after seeing all of this, what does it all mean? While the GTA title is a great way to grasp the scale, this technology points to a massive paradigm shift that goes far beyond just entertainment. Think about robotics. Imagine training a robot, not with thousands of hours of physical trial and error, but by showing it a video of a human performing a task. A world model like Gini could allow a robot to learn the fundamental rules of an environment from video alone, dramatically speeding up development. But more profoundly, this feels like one of the final pieces of the puzzle before we get to full AGI. Once a model like this is scaled up, we are well on our way to truly solving intelligence. Gini isn't just a new tool, it's a new approach. It's an AI that learns the very fabric of simulated reality just by watching. It's a huge and exciting step forward Forward, and it's just the beginning of a future where AI isn't just creating content, but creating entire worlds. So that's our deep dive into Google's Gini 3. It's clear that this isn't just an update. It's a whole new category of AI. But what do you think? Is this the future of gaming and AI? Let me know in the comments below. For more deep dives into the latest AI tools and all the breaking AI news, make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching.